Yeah, oh uh, yeah. Welcome to my mask making video. I'm Jane Gower and this is my studio. What we're working with is a two litre milk jug. That's the basic for all these masks. They were all made with one of these. We're going to make Zorg, the alien. He's the probably most simplest to make and the basic one. And from that you can you can make your own designs and come up with your own characters once you've got that basic mask made. This is Mimi. This one, he's got last year's Christmas decorations uh, for his eyebrows and I've added some sparkle, Tarquin. He's mainly extra bits added on here from other milk bottles and then again I've used a red plastic party cup for this but mainly black felt and permanent marker. And here we've got Ikea's Christmas decorations and a bit of sparkly bling and a cocktail tumbler from Poundland but I've also put in there a kazoo all the way through so he's got an extra bit. So grabbing your two litre milk bottle let's go and make Zog the Alien. Here are all the tools and equipment that you'll need to make a basic mask. You'll need a two litre plastic milk bottle from any supermarket. Make sure it's clear of any residue and that you've taken off all wrappings some form of cardboard, gaffer tape or duct tape, a pair of good sharp scissors, a stapler with staples in, some marker pens, make sure that they're permanent markers, glue dots or double-sided sticky pads. And that's all you're going to need for your basic mask. Here are a selection of bits and pieces for additional decoration to bling up your mask. Items that you may find around the house or can be bought from stores like Poundland. Here we've got a selection of sticky gems and sparkly stickers, some plastic shop tumblers in neon colours, and some feathers. These I've taken off an old feather boa, but also you can take them off from a feather duster. Old CDs or DVDs are great. Different coloured sticky tapes, foil snack packets or other plastics, some pipe cleaners and old plastic stationary folders. These are just a few ideas that you can use to add bling to your mask. So here we've got our two litre plastic milk bottle. I've given it a good thorough clean out with hot water to get rid of any milk residue and I'm going to take the lid off but I'm going to keep the lid so we're going to do the starting cut we're going to need a pair of sharp scissors here and at this point we really need you to have an adult present if you're a youngster doing this uh, to help start you off we're going to need to open up this so I'm just going to show you at the front here we've already got the shape or the look of a face okay so what we're going to do is to cut around the back of the bottle as a back seam so with a pair of scissors and with an adult to do this for you, just start you off. You want to make a point with the scissors. Okay, once you've got in there, you can start to cut a line all the way up that seam. So we're going right up to the top. And now I'm going to take a line, cut a line all the way round the top here along this edge so you've opened it up here you've got a seam you can now get in from the top we're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut a shape that goes down here through the thicker part to the bottle opening and then just cut round that bit to about uh, a centimetre and a half away from the middle of the front, what we're calling the front of the bottle here. And I'm going to do the same this side. You don't want to cut this uh, bottleneck off altogether because this is the point at which you're going to have the whole the mask being held by um, a sort of a handle we're going to make out of the, the cardboard. So again, take this round to about the same place here. So that will be like that. So now you can see, you can press out the plastic. 
Now that's a little bit, I've done a cut it a little bit wobbly here, so I'm going to sort of decide what shape I want here. I think I'm going to just have a more of a smoother swoop going up to the outer edge here. So I'm going to, you can draw a line if it helps you. So there we are, we've got the basic mask shape developing now. Now we need to just cut away and make some more interesting bits. We need to cut the eyes out and we need to maybe reshape the top here a bit. So with a pencil, make any kind of eyes you like. And then I'm also, I'm going to give him sort of slightly wacky ears here and make this sort of ear-like down here. And have that as one of those alien head shapes, big head shapes. They always have big foreheads for some reason, I don't know why just scary. Uh, so I'm going to get a pen. So I've got my black Sharpie pen here or just permanent marker. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie. And first of all I'm going to draw in this one. So we've got the eye shape and we've got the start of an ear shape here. Again you need the presence of an adult to help you with this beginning bit. You just need to make a puncture into the eye shape like that just to get you started. And then using the scissors, you can then carefully cut this shape away. Okay, we've done the eye. Just hold on to that shape and this one. Okay, and again, keep this bit. And I'll show you for why in a minute. So here we go. You can start to see that lovely alien shape come along here now. So the bit that you've cut out for the eye, you're going to turn it over. And just draw around that and it's much easier. It means you'll get the same shape eye on the other side because it's quite hard to do two shape eyes exactly the same way. This, this will help you. Hey, it's an alien. It's got wonky eyes, that's all right. And then with this bit, which came out of this side, we're going to flip it over and draw around that so we get the same shape ear that side. That's really starting to look a little bit more alien now. Okay, we're moving on to the next stage. At this point, take your permanent marker and just start creating any alien style drawing onto the mask. When drawing over the edges of the mask, it's a good idea to have some protective plastic underneath so you don't mistakenly permanent mark the tabletop. So as you see, that's kind of finished. I've gone over areas where it was fading and made it a very strong line. So I've done most of the drawing now and I'm going to add the bits that are going to start making it look a little bit more alien like this. So using the CD and two plastic folders, which I've cut shapes out of, a plastic shop tumbler and pipe cleaners. I've made an alien head radar accessory. There we go. You can do anything you like with the decoration. This is just what I'm choosing to do, but out of all those materials, you can bling it up or customize it in any way you like. I'm liking that, that looks good. Next thing we have to do is to work out the actual poster which is going to be held by and put the mouth on. This is where the cardboard box comes in. This is going to make the post to hold the whole mask. Bring the mask back in and I'm going to roll this into a roll so it's nice and strong. I'm going to put it into the gap where the uh, the bottle opening was and I'm just let it open out so it opens to the width of the bottle and with the masking tape I'm just going to run some lines of masking tape so it holds it with that width in mind so I know it fits in there. This is where I'm going to bring in the gaffer tape or what you might know as duct tape. I'm going to cover the stick with this tape 
just to keep it black so it disappears when you're holding it, it doesn't show up too much. So I've pushed the holding stick through the bottle top with a centimetre and a half poking through the other side and using the gaffer tape again I'm going to attach that down over the bottle opening so that it fixes that all together. Like that so it doesn't flop around. To hold that on both sides. The mask handle hold has now been added. I'm going to now add the mouth and the beardy bit. You can do with this as you wish. There's all sorts of other ideas you could use. I might stick that in there so it matches the, the top bit here. So that's your completed mask. That's as far as I'm going to take it now, but we could go on adding glasses or earrings to it. You can customise this as much as you like. So there we go. That's a great mask to go away and have some fun with. Thank you for watching my mask making video and I hope this inspires you to go and make your own fabulous and wonderful character masks. Mm.